Lester, thank you. And now to that new jobs report, 151,000 jobs were added in October. That's the biggest gain in months. But the unemployment remained unchanged at 9.6 for Regan is here to explain. Trish, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Amy. So an unchanged unemployment number at 9.6 percent. That seems like it's bad news. And yet experts are saying there are signs of life. How do we make sense of these numbers? Sure. Well, you got to take heart in the fact that 151,000 jobs were created. That was twice as much as any economist had actually anticipated. So people were surprised and encouraged by that number. On the other hand, yeah, 9.6% unemployment, not good. And it's likely to remain at very high single month to bring the unemployment rate down. On top of that, you need another 100,000 just to keep up with population growth. So what this all means is that even though we're adding 151,000 jobs in the latest month, we need to be doing that consistently and even more so over the next several months if we really want to make any kind of dent in that unemployment rate. Also this week, the Federal Reserve announcing specifically on Wednesday that uh, it was going to buy 600 billion more in government bonds by the middle of next year. Yeah. Obviously, this is not without controversy. There's a potential upside and downside. What are those? Oh, well, OK, on the one hand, it's nice that there's more money coming into the system, but the downside here is you have a Federal Reserve that effectively is printing money. Now, printing money is not necessarily a good thing because that could lead to inflation down the road. It also leads to a weaker U.S. dollar, and that means higher commodity costs. So you're going to pay more for energy. You're going to pay more for food. You're going to pay more for energy because don't forget, oil's priced in dollars. So if your dollar's weaker, it's going to take more dollars to buy that barrel of oil or fill up your gas tank. So it does have an effect on the American consumer. The hope is, at least this is what the Fed is really keeping its fingers crossed for, you get the economy right. chugging along enough that the dollar issue won't really matter until it needs to matter. Another big uh, bit of news for uh, U.S. taxpayers potentially this week. We hear mm -hmm. President Obama now saying he's willing to work with GOP leaders mm -hmm. uh, in extending those Bush tax cuts potentially for everyone. Mm -hmm. What could this mean? Well, investors like the sound of that because you want a lot of money in the economy, whether it's from the Federal Reserve effectively printing money or from uh, consumers out there spending. And so the more money consumers have in their pockets, then the more money they're likely to spend. So Wall Street cheered that news, and we'll see what happens. All right, Trish Regan, as always, thanks so much. You bet. And now here's Lester.